With pitch correction, you want to put uh, that plugin at the very beginning of the channel. And the reason for that is you don't want any other processors to affect how the pitch selection in this plugin is going to be interpreted. Because what it's going to do is it's going to estimate the pitch that you're trying to sing and it's going to try to correct it just a little bit. So if you have a modulator on there that's kind of altering your source pitch, uh, then the pitch corrector is going to interpret the modulated version, not your raw signal. So let's go ahead and open it up and solo out the first part of this verse. We have the uh, pitch correction open here, and you're going to see a few things. The top here is probably the most important uh, first step that you need to take. Uh, this is going to set your scale that you're singing in. So if you are uh, well versed in theory and you know what scale you're singing in, I happen to know that I'm singing in the, um, I'm actually singing in a mode, I guess I should add. So I would first select the uh, major scale, because I know I'm singing in kind of a variant of a major scale with a root of D. Now I happen to know that I replaced the C sharp with the C natural. And you see you can select that uh, on a note-by-note -note basis. So the ones that are highlighted are the ones that are going to, uh, the plugin is going to correct to. And it's not going to allow itself to correct to any of the notes that are grayed out. All you need to do from here is you need to focus on this right section of the plugin. Okay, now the right section uh, has response time and detune. Now detune you don't really want if you're trying to be pitch accurate because that is actually going to kind of overcorrect your voice in a certain direction. So if you happen to know that you always sing a little bit flat, maybe working that detune a little bit to boost up a tiny bit uh, might help you for your voice. But if it's kind of more variable, then you definitely want to just work with the response time. Now the response time is what makes or breaks the auto-tune sound of this. So first, I want you to listen to a completely immediate response time. And right now, we just have the pitch corrector active. You try to escape your fate then wade into the woods. You try so you heard that it acted on my uh, singing almost immediately, and it sounded a little bit tacky. So if you don't want that sound, and you want it to be more natural, yet corrected, you need to slowly uh, boost up that response time to the point where it's just on that threshold of not sounding like um, a robot, basically. So I'm going to play this on loop, and then I'm going to slowly raise this up until it sounds natural. You try to escape your fate then wade into the woods. Still sounding a bit robot here. Your fate then wade into the woods you try to escape your fate then wade into the woods you try to escape your fate then wade into the woods so i feel like 84 actually had it sounding pretty natural that first part of the vocal you try to escape that is what was triggering that immediate kind of robot sound from the quick response time and when I brought it up to 84, you try to escape. I wasn't hearing that quick shift in pitch. And that is how you go about setting up your pitch correction.